my name is Griselle Venegas, and my travel story kind of starts with my own journey. Um, about a few years ago, I became more like a health coach. I, I wanted to help people just lose weight and feel really good about themselves. And within my own journey, I was able to lose 55 pounds, which is phenomenal. Um, but a few weeks ago, I found myself in a little bit of a rut. I lost my job, and I was like, well, what am I going to do now? What can I do? I want, to, I want to better myself, both mentally, physically, spiritually. So let me start on some walking. And throughout the springtime, I started going to the Quinnipiac River Trail. And it was really awesome because it was really just open. And there was, well, at first, there was no greenery. So you could really see everything, which was really great. Um, as, a, as a woman, I guess, for safety reasons, you know, you could see everything. But then springtime came around, everything started blooming, and the trees came in, and then as I started doing the trail, I was like, you know, this is a little sketchy now. It's a little bit unsafe. I feel that I want to bring some people with me. So I, probably about a week ago, I think it was a week ago, someone had warned us about a bear on the trail. And I think I got warned like three times. Um, that there was a black bear, and it was still far away from where I was, but someone just said bear, and that was pretty much enough for me to turn around and, and come back the other way. I wanted to finish my walk, and I was really upset that day that there was something that stopped me from going just because I was by myself, and then I also had a really bright red shirt on, and I looked like a complete target. If, if a bear happened to see me, I could just see it charging towards me. So I decided, let me not do this walk by myself anymore. So I got on our, on our Wallingford um, community page, the pos Positively Wallingford page, and I just wrote on there, let's, let's go for a walk. Anybody want to go for a walk with me? And I am so thrilled about the feedback that I got from it. I, first of all, I can't believe how many people are home during that time, during the daytime, <laughs> that are able to come at 9.30 in the morning for, come for a walk. Um, but it's almost like I feel like in just in a couple of days, it's kind of like blown up a little bit. And from a little post, I've been able to just, there's about 40 people now that have said that they're going to come at certain days, at certain times, um, which just to plug it in right now, we're doing Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9.30. We're going to meet at the Quinnipiac Linear Trail on Hall Avenue. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're going to do at 6 o'clock. The only reason why I even started doing the night ones was because my name on Instagram is Grizel No Excuses Guru. I don't want to hear an excuse. So when someone said, oh my God, I, I really would love to do this, but I work all day. I can't do 930. No problem. We're doing six o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So there's no excuse why not to come out and, and come hang out with some awesome ladies. We did it on Monday and we did it today. And we talked the whole time. It was really wonderful. We talked about our kids, our job, Wallingford, you name it. It was just really it was nice. It's nice to, to meet women in our community. It's nice to share our stories um, about how we love being here, how, um, you know, everything from, from politics, a little bit of politics, to, to, to basically butterflies. Today was the conversation, butterflies. Um, so I really would love people to come in the community to come out and join us and come out for a walk. And I'm really on a mission to make everybody healthy and happy. So we're going to start. We're going to start with doing a walk. Does anybody have an expanding question that can go deeper into to this really phenomenal experience that yeah. we just heard? I mean, this is the kind of story we really were looking forward to hearing from the community. A community story that mm -hmm. has to do with who we are. How far do, do you walk? By myself, I can do the four miles, which is two miles one way and mm -hmm. two miles back. Um, but we all have different strengths, and we're trying to take that into consideration. So I just want to do an hour. So wherever we are, half hour out, I look at my watch, we'll turn around and come back. I, I told the ladies um, today that we'll work on our stamina. So if anybody wants to walk a little bit further, then let's figure out where we are, and then we'll remember. So the next time we'll push a little bit further to, to walk a little bit farther. To reiterate, where do you guys meet? Oh, at the Quinnipiac Linear okay. Trail. It's on okay. Hull Avenue, right oh. by where the new... Um, Entrances oh, for yeah, that no, Parkway. Okay. Yeah. And it's free. It's completely free. There's no charge. There's no anything. <laughs> I got clearance from Wallingford to, to do it as well. So was this your first time actually experiencing the trail when you had this idea about doing the walk, or were you familiar with it from before? I never used the trail up to during the springtime. I did a couple of times when everything was not grown in. But I lived in Wallingford for um, five years. I've mm. never used the trail before. 
I think maybe out of safety. I think that's one of the main things is yeah. that, you know, if you're a lady, mm-hmm. do you, you know, sometimes I don't want to be that one person that posts somewhere that something happened to me because I was walking by myself. So mm-hmm. that's a, a big push why I want to do it together with other people. And are you aware of the ticks that there have been reports of ticks being uh, on people after they've walked the trail? Not just with those with animals in general. Really? And some very, very little ones. So are you yes. actually incorporating checking each other for ticks at the end of the walk? We did. We did. We all oh, stopped wow. and we checked each She's other. So yes, I guess I haven't had any problem. I've been there quite a few times. Mm-hmm. I haven't had any problems myself, but I've heard a lot of people as well say mm-hmm. that it's been on their pets. So yeah. it's always a caution. I mean, it's a precaution everywhere we go nowadays, I feel. But I haven't had any issues yet. Well, what was your largest group of ladies? We've only done it two days. Today's my oh, second wow. day. So today we had five people. Oh. Okay. Well, there's 40 people all together that said they would be at certain times. Oh, great. Yeah, you, didn't you post your picture on Facebook? We I did. Saw yeah, that. I saw that. Yeah. 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 Oh, I want to be able to add different things later on as well. So, like, I like to run. I'm not a great runner, but I like to, maybe if I had a partner, I'd be a little bit better runner. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping to add maybe a weekend day where we can expand and, and do something else or meet even earlier to do maybe some strength training, do some other things besides the walking. How do you all manage water bottles or water? Do you all carry an individual we water do. pack? Yeah, we each carried our own water bottle in our hand. In your hand. Or so so just kind of a, a, a little backpack. Mm-hmm.